What's up, YouTube? I'm Z, and this channel shows you the world through my lens. All right. Thank you guys so much for your patience. I know you've been requesting a lot. I've been super busy. Uh, by the time I, you know, finish work and everything else, like family, move stuff, you know, renovation stuff, everything that's going on, I get a chance to sit down in my office, and I'm like wiped out. Uh, March should be better because we're getting close to our move date, and then we'll kind of have a chance to chill. I'll also be off work for a few weeks. Um, so that'll be nice and I expect to post more regularly But when I did my last one uh, Sorry, I'm really tired <laughs> when I did my last one uh, I asked if I should do the basement set or the album like regular and somebody commented that I should do the basement set Because it's probably better for me since I'm time restricted So first of all, I truly appreciate you thinking of that and, and recommending it to me like it means a lot um, Secondly that's what I'm going to do because I'm, I, you know, you know, whatever. We're going for it. <laughs> so this is apparently one of two albums that he dropped recently, I think. I don't know what the other one is called, but this is Quest for Fire. And this looks like uh, um, just a set that he did in his basement. So I'm curious what this is going to look like. Here we go. So it looks like we're starting with Rumble. We've heard Rumble. Sorry. This is nice. Like it, like if you're if you're listening to it in the headphones, uh, it's causing like these little vibrations into my ear, uh, on either side. It's kind of a cool sensation. This is why uh, listening to a live set is so cool because you're going to get a little like little stuff like that. Uh, he looks so different, by the way. He looks so different with the with the new look. I'm at the witness this side to vacate the boys getting sweet just like a right here. Right. Yo, listen. You hear that? Mm. Kid is in the jungle. Kid is in the jungle. Kid is in the jungle. Yo, listen. You hear that? Kid is in the jungle. Kid is in the jungle. It is in the jungle. So, um, before the drop comes back, this of the new songs that I heard, um, I do still believe that this was my favorite. This was my favorite because it was just such a well put together piece, like all of the sounds. Uh, yeah. What was the other one you guys had me do with Nai Barguti? Was it Xena or was it a different one? That one or this one, now that I'm thinking of it, because both of them very well uh, put together and sticking to a theme. So like here, like the rumble in the jungle theme. So like the sounds that we're hearing are jungle type sounds, like nature type sounds. There's even animal sounds at certain parts. Uh, I just I just love pieces like that that are fully immersive into an experience. Yo, hear that? Over, smell the aroma. Them done the liberty long time in a ramp in a skin, they couldn't wait for my coma. So 
So I think the X here means that he's mixing it with uh, Hamdi Skanka. Hamdi Skanka. Is that correct? I'm not sure if I'm understanding the uh, the chapters here correctly. Uh, let me know. Let me know. Because I think that's what it means, but I could be wrong. See, this is what I'm trying to say. This is the stuff you wouldn't get on like just like a regular album listen. This is really awesome. I'm so glad that he did this. See when he took that away and then the timing of bringing it back plus the lights working with everything oh man right here This is it. Yeah, Xena, Nightbird Luffy. This was really good. Oh, yeah. cool camera effect there too um as i said when i reacted to xena by itself the use of like the regional drum sounds because this is an arab singer um so good so so good really enjoy it <laughs> transition was so nice too high too high too high too high too high too high i'm way too high so dope i'm way too high i'm way too high i gotta come down but that that vocal that came in too high, too high, too high. Mm. Too high. 
this right here. Now I'm curious because obviously like this song I haven't heard outside of this basement set. So I'm curious how online with like the original version, like the the album version that is, or if that's like a basement set variation, because that was really nice. Um, this, this drop right here. Oh, yes. Oh, so nasty how he brought the, took the vocals away when the drop happened and then brought it back at that part right there. And this like this breathy sound effect that happens too, it almost sounds like a singer getting ready to sing, right? Like the and then like the singing's coming and then the vocals came in. Oh that was dope. But the song is also called Inhale Exhale uh, and then staying too high. So I'm sure that that's part of the the breathing sound effects too. another really nice transition uh something i wanted to mention though like basement set yo whose basement is this whose basement has like what is this like 12 foot ceilings like what is going on here Apparently this one's called On A Street I Know. Oh, another transition. So this is the next song, Tears, uh, featuring Joker and Sleepnet. This sounds very eerie, this one. You know what I love about this too is like watching him because he's putting on a good performance and like it's not just the lights it's not just the way he's mixing like doing like the uh DJing <laughs> right like he it's like watching his passion and like his enjoyment makes you enjoy it more like there's nothing worse than a person standing up there that I don't know just doesn't seem like they're into it you know Thank <laughs> you. 
God, that was nasty. Again, I don't know how similar or different that is from like the album version. Sorry, I was like mesmerized by like the the light effects here, like the red light on him, but the ability to get that like complete pitch black behind him, and then he's like superimposed and out of this darkness, like it's so cool. <laughs> Sounded very interesting. To me. Oh man, the transitions on this are really nice. I mean, that doesn't, it, that kind of looks like it's a touch before the next song, so maybe it's not exactly a transition, but uh, I mean, it's definitely, that was nice. <laughs> have a new record out it went to number six on billboard in rolling stone magazine how does that feel uh it's pretty insane i'm going to disneyland with me <laughs> with sonny with girlfriends we're getting we're girlfriends getting girlfriends going to disneyland 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 so okay so this says uh warped tour 05 with pete wentz um uh, is that just like a clip from from the tour back then uh let me know
like this one. What is this? This is Good Space featuring Stara. Stara? Stara? Let me know how to say that. I like this one a lot. See how like that simple camera work just adds this like you know extra dimension to the to the video and the song like just that slight when, when those transitions or when those drops and when those different sounds come in and that slight movement and tilting of the camera like it just makes such a big difference <laughs> Okay, so that was another transition there. That one was very smooth. Uh, looks like we're going into a song called Too Bizarre, uh, featuring Sway Lee, Sick Brain, and somebody else. That was a smooth transition. Okay, so I think it is uh, mixed like two songs mixed. So there's the two bizarre, and then there's uh, "Bust Down" by Constantine, and I think that's what the X means. I'm pretty sure. Uh, that uh, I was gonna say something, but now I forgot. This is what happens when you're tired, man. If I think of it, I'll bring it up. I love it, man. I love that I'm doing this live one. Now, here's the thing. There are pros and cons. So I think a con is like the fact that I don't know the original album version. I'm not always on um, on top of knowing like when he's kind of gone off script and he's putting a lot more of his own flavor on it. Uh, so I think that's a con. But the pro is that I'm getting a lot of the like his flavor and like him doing stuff, you know, live in this moment. And I think that those things are just, they're, they're hard to put a value on. Like, it's just that it's what makes an artist special. It's what makes a genius a genius, right? The ability to do that. Like that is so cool. Like that coming in and out that he's about to do.
The vocals there were really nice. Oh, I love that transition. That was dope. That was dope. Let's do it one more time. Audibly and visually, that was dope. So this, um, I think if like Xena and uh, Rumble are my top, I think Supersonic is like right behind it. Uh, and, and I think those are the only three I heard from this album right before it actually dropped. At this point, I would say it's still those three, except, oh man, I don't know why I'm doing this. This is going to be really hard because... Oh, I liked a lot of this. Like, Good Space was really good so far. Um, okay, maybe maybe I'll say, like, Good Space and Inhale, Exhale are going to be up there for me right now, too. Um, I really... I This is a really short thing. I don't know what exactly it was, but, like, I really like this part, too. I don't know. And look, the most replayed parts are the transitions. There were like all the peaks are happening. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Let's go. Nice, I like that. The golden boy still pipping. Wait, I did this one too, right? Leave me like this. I'm pretty sure I did this one as well. I guess I've done a lot of the ones off his new album. Cause so that would be Rumble, uh, Xena, um, Supersonic, and Leave Me Like This. I feel like I've done all of those.
down the spot for sure. Is this mixed with something? This is mixed with something as well. What is this mixed with? Uh, Leave Me Like This, which I've heard, and Baby Again, which I haven't. Um, what? I've done Butterflies too, no? Have I done like half of this album already? What's going on? I feel like I've done this too. Maybe, maybe not. Why does Butterflies sound familiar? Maybe there's another song. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, oh, we're still on this. I thought maybe we were transitioning or something because that sounded very interesting to me. Let's let. Hmm. Oh, that's dope. Don't get it twisted. We I love the way he's like peppering in the mix, uh, like the vocals from one song to the other. Like I really like the way that it's put in, and it's just like perfect timing. Uh, guys, like this is one of those things where like I feel like we've been partying for what's it, what's it been thirty four minutes. Uh, I was tired to start. I'm still pretty tired because <laughs> I feel like I've just like I feel like I'm exerting a lot of energy right now. <laughs> Again, I'm pretty sure I've heard that as well. So, like, I think I've heard, like, almost half the songs on the album. I like Butterflies, too. Hmm. 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 
DJ Swillis, we be the realest team on the billets. Watch out, I kill it, watch out, I spit it on the mic, fill it. Y'all can't do what I do, just admit it. I'm about to get it, my name, my nigga, it, drop it to the floor. Shake my big bit, it's popping like did it, my face look pretty. Y'all ain't doing shit, no, I done did it. That's I'm marvelous, been top of less, a bad chick, the flow sick, like oh shit, you know this, I'm too fit to ever quit. Knocking these fools, I like pool sticks, I do. Y'all ain't doing shit, no, I done did it. That's I'm marvelous, been top of less, a bad chick, the flow sick, like oh shit, you know this, I'm too fit to ever quit. Knocking these fools, I like pool sticks, I do this, I move this, I pull this. Bars be hard like a pound of bricks to go. It's the kind of beat to go ratata. It's the kind of beat to go ratata. Ratata. This one I haven't heard. Um, Missy Elliott. Uh, I don't know who Mr. Oizo is, but Missy Elliott's a legend, right? Like, if you don't know um, Missy Elliott, then you should check some out. She's she's really good. It's the kind of beat to go ratata. It's the kind of beat to go ratata. It's the kind of beat to go ratata. Man, she's so good. She's so good. Ooh. Come on, man. Listen to this. transition we're coming up to another red uh, transition it actually looks like we're coming up to the last uh song or whatever is going to be played so let's let's pull it back a second and see. think you're done and then you're gonna is anybody here with your family like a sister or your brother is anybody here with your best friend is anybody here with a team more than like 20 make some noise right now still here hmm Oh, still here with the ones that I came with. choice to end it on 
uh, not just sonically, like the way that it, like the way that it sounded, but also the subject matter of like the title still here with the ones that I came with. Uh, really like nice kind of paying uh, respect or homage or uh, homage or um, like thanks back to like the fans that continue to support. And I'm sure it's like beyond the fans as well, but that's how I took it as someone who's who's a listener. Uh, I'm really glad I did that because I think I got a flavor that like that touch of like a live show. I think it really changes your feel of what's happening because you're seeing him do the things in front of you it's not just a finished um like polished product that you're hearing like you know press play type of thing um i think now that i've heard this i don't know if this is the full track list um from the bits that i heard you know it's tough for me because i'm a big hip-hop fan so like uh ratata ratata uh (laughs) this goes pretty high up for me automatically because of that because of missy elliott uh so this might be my favorite or one of my favorites i still think that like in terms of the uh immersive thematic sound uh xena and rumble were both incredible in that regard um what else did i like tears uh this was an interesting one for me this is one that i think i would want to check out on its own to kind of decide how I feel about it because I think I got a very like eerie feel from it um yeah like I don't know if I I, I can say more than that I think that's one I got to check out again um good space good space I liked it a lot too bizarre I thought it was good uh I don't think it's going to be like my favorite on the album uh, leave me like this supersonic butterflies uh, all three of these I like um, and then what was the one back here uh, street I know very small snippet here of that one another one I think I really want to check out because the snippet that I did here was very intriguing to me I think it would be one that I would actually enjoy a lot uh, and then inhale exhale I, I saved this for last to talk about because I really enjoyed uh, the things that were happening here, the the way too high, got to bring it down low or bring it back down or something like that. Uh, so just like those simple lyrics in there, but I think the the breathing uh, effect that was in there, like it was brought in and out at different times. Uh, it's those little things that I enjoy and I really like that part about it. Anyways, uh, this ended up being a lot longer than I thought. So I'm probably cutting it close on my storage. <laughs> I didn't tell you guys, but I, I checked my storage before I started the, started the video. And it was a little tight, but I thought I could do it. So uh, if you're still here, I appreciate you spending your time with me. I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time.